The police remain this morning, guarding the church that's now the scene of a terrorist incident. In the early hours, that's what investigators began calling the fatal stabbing of David Amos. They say the early investigation has revealed a potential motivation linked to Islamist extremism. As part of the investigation, officers are currently carrying out searches at two addresses in the London area, and these are ongoing. Sir David was holding a regular Friday surgery for his constituents when he lost his life. Those he was elected to represent have lost a champion of their community. He was very well, I'd say, respected and go on even further to say loved. You know, he's a respected member of our community and, yeah, just really, really sad day. He loved people, loved doing his job. I'm sorry. The 69-year-old was one of our longest-serving MPs. He dedicated almost four decades to public service. In Leon C today, the Prime Minister, the Labour leader and the Home Secretary together paid their respects. David was a man who believed passionately in this country and in its future. And we've, we've lost today a fine public servant and a much-loved friend and Cody. Across the parties, across Parliament, he was so respected and so liked, and there's a very profound sense of loss, I think, across politics, across faith, and up and down the country. We have been here before. After the murder of Joe Cox five years ago, MPs were offered extra security. Now the Speaker of the House of Commons says protection is crucial. We will always look to improve and bring in new security measures to ensure that MPs can carry out their duties. They want to be representing their constituents. Democracy must always survive. Sir David was an MP who always wanted to be accessible, but for that, he paid a terrible price. Carrie Davis, ITV News.